How do you make a substantial income from a blog with legal traffic? How do you dramatically improve the amount of money you're currently making from your blog? Hello, my name is Anthony Maduka, and in this video, you're going to be discovering a powerful, but let's talk about formula for dramatically improving the amount of money you can make from your blog. I call it the pinpoint formula. By the way, if you love watching videos that help you in your blogging and financial journey, then you would love to subscribe to this channel because that's what we are all about here. Tap the subscribe button below and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss my videos. The pinpoint formula is a formula for presenting offers to your audience in a way that dramatically improves the response you get without damaging your reputation. The pinpoint formula equals ATM plus O, which equals M plus, where M plus means more money. By the very nature of blogging, the ATM part is the part that most bloggers have already gotten right. What's left is the O. The ATM is a social currency that when combined with O, gives you more money on your blog. So what's the ATM? What does it stand for? ATM stands for authority, trust, and neutrality. If you have readers consuming your blog content, then you are an authority as long as they are concerned. They see you as an authority. And one of the byproducts of being an authority is that people trust your judgment. As a result, they are more open to your suggestions and recommendations. And neutrality is what Robert Cialdini calls reciprocity. It's that natural human instinct to want to give back to somebody what the person gives to you. It's so rooted in our DNA that we can't even help it. And this is the part that most bloggers don't take advantage of because the M part, the neutrality part is the part that when combined with O, gives you much more money on your blog. But what is O? O simply means your offer. Most bloggers don't make offers to their readers because they fear that making offers is going to piss them off. Yes, making an offer is going to piss them off. But that's if you do it the wrong way. But if you do it the right way, oh, they're going to love you for that and beg you to offer them more and more stuff. So the problem is not the fact that you're making an offer. The problem is the fact that you're making the offer wrongly. And that's what we're going to be going deep into in the rest of this video. And by the way, if you're loving what you're hearing, I'd love you to hit the like button. That way, I get the right feedback and know that I'm doing it right. So what do you need to know about offer? Well, there are three things you need to know. You need to know what a good and bad offer is, the right place to place an offer, and what the two kinds of offers you can make on your blogs are. You have two types of offers, the active offer and the passive offer. The passive offer is the kind of offer that most bloggers are already familiar with. It's the AdSense ad on your website, or the banner ad you place somewhere in your site's layout. The passive offer can make you money, especially if you have a lot of traffic on your blog. But where the real money is made, I mean, where the thousands of dollars are made, is in the active offer. That's the secret most bloggers are not aware of yet. The active offer is the kind of offer you make within your blog post. There are two places you can place this offer. The first place is within your write-ups. And I see a handful of bloggers using this. It's that anchor text that leads to a review page or a product page. And while this is actually powerful, you get the biggest result when you put it in the second place, the most powerful place to place an offer. Can you guess? You wanna try? Pause the video and give me an answer in the comments. The best place to place an offer is right at the end of your blog post. The other part of your blog post where most bloggers encourage their audience to go comment. Above or below that is the best place place your offer. You know why? It's the moment where they feel strongest, the desire to reciprocate. But the theory is that most bloggers don't give them that chance because they don't give them something to reciprocate. But just because you know where the best place to put your offer is, it doesn't mean that you're going to succeed with it. In fact, it can actually backfire if you make the wrong offer. So what's the right offer? Well, to explain this, let me share with you one business wisdom. A business guru once said that if you want to be very, very rich, 
teach a man how to fish for free then provide him the tools as bloggers that's what we do naturally we teach people how to fish with the topics we choose to share but after teaching them they need tools to do the things that you teach them so in a nutshell the right offer is one the kind of offer that is related to your blog topic two is the kind of offer that helps your reader do the things you teach them so let's say your topic is how to build a wordpress blog can you honestly suggest to your audience the best hosting company for a wordpress blog in the second part of this video series we're going to be diving into 21 types of offers you can present to your readers and if by the time you're watching this video it's already out then check here and you'll find it and if you'd like to notify when the video or other subsequent videos are out then you need to subscribe to this channel and tap the bell notification that way when the new video drops you'll be aware of it if you'd like to get a pdf summary of this video check the description for instructions on how to get it don't forget to subscribe